our way to the cafe, which is a typical spot for male bonding and socialization. And as you may notice, the men smoke. This is our cafe. The morning ritual. The morning ritual officially begins when the waitress brings us a pack of cigarettes. It's customary in the Vietnamese culture to offer and accept cigarettes. What's interesting is that while no one actually asks for them, they are routinely served. In fact, they come before the coffee. It is clear that cigarettes have become totally ingrained in the male bonding process. It would be antisocial not to have one. <laughs> After the coffee, we are then served a pot of tea just to cap it off. And of course, more cigarettes for dessert. Vietnam has the highest male smoking prevalence rate in the world. Nearly three out of every four Vietnamese men smoke. With a population of 75 million, this is a very lucrative market indeed. Notice there are no women sitting in this cafe. Only 4% of Vietnamese women smoke. According to projections by the World Health Organization, annual smoking-related deaths will rise worldwide from the current 3.5 million to over 10 million in the next two decades. An estimated 7 million of these deaths will occur exclusively in the third world. About 98,000 pneumonia patients and 99,000 acute bronchitis patients are reported in Vietnam each year. These two diseases are ranked as the second and third greatest killers in that country. Another 30,000 people suffer from pulmonary tuberculosis. The Vietnamese government has officially banned smoking in hospitals, meetings, and other public places. And it's listed cigarettes as goods that are subject to taxation. Judging from this cafe scene, few restrictions are reaching the people. Half of the people under 20 in Vietnam are smokers. There are no restrictions on the sale of cigarettes to children. Compounding this problem are fathers who routinely ask their sons to bring cigarettes home, unknowingly passing their legacy to another generation of smokers. The best thing he could do would be to stop smoking because his lungs, you know, if he wants to live a long life, he's already needing treatment with prednisone and that's a very, um, very serious drug to take. So I'm going to explain it to him. Local media often cite information about tobacco caused illnesses but these lackluster news reports are frequently ignored. Vietnam requires only vague warning labels on cigarette packs such as smoking is dangerous to health. This locally produced brand Titanic has no warning label. Under the brand name Titanic is the subtitle American Standard. Here in Vietnam there is a special status to importing American made products. To Vietnamese, Americans represent the good life. Domestic cigarettes typically sell for 10 to 50 cents a pack in Vietnam. Western brands are priced anywhere from 70 cents to just under one dollar. According to figures from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, foreign brands currently constitute only about 15 to 18 percent of Vietnam's cigarette market. The remaining demand is satisfied by either local producers or the more than 80 brands produced by the country's own Vinataba Tobacco Company. Conglomerates such as Philip Morris and British American Tobacco have swept in with aggressive marketing campaigns based on a simple premise. That even if the people can't afford the higher priced cigarettes today, they certainly can start wanting them now. In its quest for new consumers, the American tobacco industry has targeted Asia, which boasts nearly 60% of the world's population. As one tobacco editorial recently stated, the future is Asia.
with uh, cigarettes in tow, we head on home.